Strong performance continued in our core businesses, Kalmar and Hayab. Mika, would you go through some of the highlights of the Cargatex third quarter 2022? Yeah, it certainly was a strong quarter. I mean, if you think seasonally, always the Q3 is the weakest quarter for us in a year. And the fact that we were able to get such a high revenues and, and record operating margin on, on Q3 is an extraordinary achievement from the organization. And huge thank you for the whole Cargotech personnel to make that happen. There were many, many other positives to take away from that one. I'm very happy about the services performance and the strategic focus we have now been having on the services for a while is really delivering 22% uh, 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 sales growth in services and across all the business areas there as well. And then maybe the most delightful thing of all of them is really the fantastic uh, progress in the in the eco portfolio. The revenues have now increased by 97%. It's already 27% of our revenues and the investments we have done in terms of technology and services to drive the sustainability in the logistics industries, together with the pressure our customers are now facing in terms of delivering more sustainable solutions and services for the customers, is clearly delivering results for us. Mm. That sounds good. And also orders received increased in all business areas. Would you go through some of the drivers behind that? Yeah, the capacity utilization is still at very high level. And if you look at our equipment utilization and the running our numbers we get from the connected data shows still very high high numbers. Uh, a lot of the end market activity is still at the high level as, as, as well. So and clearly the long lead times also are uh, sort of driving customers need to ensure their deliveries as well. So we had a good order intake really across the board as well. And we see the strong demand continuing in all of our key segments. Mm. And you mentioned the uh, good progress in, in the strategy execution. But we published uh, our week focus strategy in March and we set some key milestones for, for the coming year. Uh, could you describe a little bit the process on those areas? Of course, the three key milestones that we published are, first of all, starting the strategic review regarding McGregor business. Secondly, is, is related to the uh, exit of the heavy crane business in Kalmar. And thirdly, reviewing the operational mode um, in, in Cargotech as well. On, on McGregor, the work is still continuing and progressing as we speak. We have, uh, uh, sort of practically speaking, finished now the uh, uh, heavy crane exit. We announced that already during Q2, and we are in the final stages of some of the asset transfers. Mm. We also concluded during the Q2 uh, th uh, two and Q3 the um, operational mode review, and we are moving more than 100 people from the central functions in gr group level into the businesses. The businesses will be even more capable and independent, able to drive their businesses close to the customers. This includes the excellent work we have done in our digitalization and technology that is now mature enough in terms of operation that that will be driven by the businesses. It includes the sourcing activities and some other functions as well. Thank you, Mika. And we also already achieved uh, our last year's comparable operating profit level. So that's why we specified our outlook and we now expect our comparable operating profit to improve by 88 to 180 million euros from last year.